Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech few days back oneplus rolled out the oxygen s12 open beta 1 for the oneplus not 2 but yesterday at evening when i check up for the new ot updates in the open beta 1 we got another new update oxygen s12 c04 open beta 2 which has some new change log for the improvement and the bug fixing for the system camera and stability improvements so what are the requirements for this update you must be on the open beta 1 with the log bootloader this is only for the indian region so other regions please don't try this we got the first open beta 1 as the separate firmware which was flashable while stock recovery on the Oxygen OS 11. This time for the manual flashing series of 8 firmware partitions is available to flash on the stock Oxygen OS 11. But till now there are no instructions are provided how to flash them. Once you get the instruction I will create the new video separately for that. Today in this video I will tell you how to install this update with the full change log details but I also found a serious bug which was there in the old open beta 1 also which I forgot to mention. I also shown how to revert back to the stock Oxygen OS so watch the video till the end. I started the download of update in the stock OTA. Now without further ado, let's get started. So download is completed. Now tap install to flash the update. Phone will reboot and flashing starts. It will take at least 10 minutes to flash hold 8 firmware partitions. Flashing is done. Phone rebooted to the new open beta 2. So let's jump to the about phone to check what's new caught in the about phone. In the about phone if you tap on the android version you can see this is the new android 12.1 with the same easter egg of android 12. This new update comes with the security patch of Fitma 2022. If you tap on the version, you can see it's the Oxygen OS 12 C04 with the kernel version 4.14.186 plus. Now let's check the details as per the change log. First they fixed that the lock screen abnormal display interface when you keep the phone on the charging. Actually I didn't face a such issue on the open beta one when I use it. Next they fixed the issue that the screen brightness displayed abnormally in the certain scenarios like getting the sudden high and the very low brightness in respect of the light conditions. This one is also not seen by me on the previous update. Maybe these issues were found by the beta testers on their devices. Next they fixed the occasional issue that the desktop text displayed abnormally in the certain scenarios. Here I check the text on the home screen or the desktop and I found no issues regarding the text on the desktop. Next fix is for the camera, they optimize the anti-shake effect when they shooting the videos. I think it's related to the ultra steady mode. If you enable this and even when you shake the phone while shooting, we will not see any shake effect in the videos. They seems very sturdy and well focused on the objects. As you can see, I took one very unstable video recording with the ultra steady mode. Still, it's managed to maintain the stability by using the anti-shake effects. Instead of this, camera app is now opening very fast as compared to the old beta one. Instead of this, they optimize the overall system stability for the new update. Finally, they fixed the crash of Fortnite game which was spawned on the open beta 1. Actually, I didn't test that game but as per some users, that issue has been fixed for this game and is working well on new open beta 2. So it's time to check the bugs. I did not found any bugs except one issue that is regarding the fastboot. I tried to boot the device in a fastboot using the buttons combo like powering up the phone and pressing volume up and down and the power button at the same time. But it's booting only in the recovery mode, even on the ADB commands in the CMD will not boot the phone in a fast boot. It will show the verification issue in the recovery, you will not found the install update option. The issue was present on the open beta one also, so it may be found inconvenient for the people who want to root their devices and to flash the partition backups. If you want to downgrade to the old Oxygen OS 11, then download the downgrade package from the link given under the video description, place it in the root of the storage in the phone. Go to the about phone and under the OT update tap 3 dot menu from the right top corner and select the local install. Then select the downloaded file. System will verify the update and flash it. This will wipe your whole data so keep the full backup. So this is all about the new update. I will create a new video regarding the full performance battery and the gaming test of this update soon. If I help you please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.